After months of beta testing, here are my top five favorite features coming as part of iPadOS 15. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and yes, Apple has finally debuted, released to everybody iPadOS 15, along with iOS 15, watchOS 8, HomePod Update 15, as well as tvOS 15. So yes, there are a lot of updates out there right now that you can go download right now, like this very second. Um, but as you do that, or maybe you've already done the updates and you want to know what's cool, new, and flashy, I'm going to show you my top five favorite features that I've been loving as part of iPadOS 15. So let's go ahead and dive into these things. And unfortunately, what I already know will be my favorite feature is something that I can't even show you in this video, and that is universal control. Universal control allows you to use your iPad and your Mac in tandem and basically move your mouse and keyboard from your Mac to your iPad, from your iPad to your Mac. It is incredible and I work on both my Mac Pro as well as my iPad Pro constantly and they are always side by side. So to have universal control would be amazing. But unfortunately, it is not in iPadOS 15 at launch and instead will be coming later this fall. So it will be coming soon and it is still one of the things I'm most excited about with iPad OS 15, it's just not here in the initial build. But don't worry, there's a lot of other cool stuff that is here right now for you to play with. So let's go ahead and move on to my next favorite feature in iPad OS 15. So here I am with my iPad Pro and the released version of iPad OS 15. The next feature that I want to talk about is Quick Note. Quick Note is incredibly cool. No matter where you are in the operating system, in an app, in Safari, on your home screen, you can just make a note instantly. It is incredibly handy to do. All you have to do to open up a quick note is just swipe up from that lower right hand corner. Boom, quick note created. You can do so with your finger or you can use your Apple Pencil. So same here inside of Safari on Apple Insider. I'm taking some notes here on Ted Lasso, winning a bunch of Emmy Awards last night. And I can go ahead and add a link. I can tap add a link and it adds a rich link in there and it looks really nice. There's a little uh, preview image, the little short text about what the article is about. It's very nice. Uh, if I wanted to highlight a paragraph too, I can highlight some text and hit add to quick note and it'll add that as well. It adds the link, but it also gives me that snippet of text above and it looks super nice how they lay these out. So I can add text and everything. And if I come back to this page, so if I you know, leave, I go back here, I'm gonna close my note. And I'm gonna go back to Apple Insider. I'm gonna go up this Ted Lasso story again. And as I scroll down in the lower right hand corner, my note surfaces again. It's contextually aware and knows back when I revisit those spots. And on page, it actually highlighted the text that I inserted into the note. So if I had some notes about things I thought was important, when I revisit that page, it'll call them out to me again. I just love it. It's amazing. Of course, Quick Notes syncs in the Notes app. There's a whole dedicated Quick Notes folder. I can see it right here at the top, and this syncs to all my devices, including my iPhone and my Mac. So, Quick Note, easily one of my favorite new features uh, coming here with iPad OS 15. The next feature that I want to talk about is just the improvements to multitasking. So, multitasking in general hasn't changed a ton but Apple has made it more approachable and easier for novice users to take advantage of. For instance, if I'm in an app, I can now see that three little dots at the top of the screen. If I tap on that, I can see full screen, the left screen, or slide over. So I can choose a split view app. Now I have access to my whole home screen that I can go ahead and pick an app from. I can swipe around and find exactly the app that I need to open in split view. It makes it a lot easier than having to use the gestures, though the gestures all still work. Other improvements to multitasking with iPadOS 15 include refinements here to the app switcher. For instance, I can now drag and drop apps to create split view instances right here from the app switcher. I can also see any other tabs or shelves that I have open in multi-window applications. And even my slide over apps are present like mail right here. So I can see all of that now from the updated app switcher. Not to mention all the really powerful keyboard shortcuts for those power users out there. Let's take a look at the home screen now. Home screen did not change. Sorry, it's pretty darn similar. But widgets now can be placed anywhere. With Iowa, iPadOS 14, they were stuck to being just a column on the home screen. Now, 
like on iOS, they can be placed anywhere. There are multiple sizes, they can be in any different locations you want, and Apple even introduced new widgets here with iPadOS 14, 15, and iOS 15. So there are new widgets and the ability to place widgets anywhere on your home screens. Not only that, but Apple has finally brought the app library to iPad as well, so you can rearrange your home screens, ditch many of the home screens, and put your app library right there at the end, and there's even a quick shortcut to it right from the dock. Super easy to do wherever you are. I can just tap on app library in the dock and get access to all of my applications. They're sorted into folders like my recently added apps, productivity, creativity, social, all of that stuff. So yeah, there's been really nice improvements to the home screen, app library, and widgets here with iPadOS 15. In my other video covering my top favorite features of iOS 15, I talk about focus as being one of those favorite features. And it applies here as well. Focus is one of my favorite new features coming to iPad. With focus, you can create your own focus modes, whatever your mindset needs to be. If you're gaming, you can have these notifications come in and interrupt you. If you are reading, maybe these notifications can interrupt you. You can put VIPs on your list and people to exclude. It is really versatile, but why I'm talking about it with iPad OS 15, uh, since I already talked about it with iOS 15, is that it syncs across your devices, which I think is really powerful. If I'm here on my iPad, if I set my focus mode to work on my iPhone so that I don't get bombarded with phone calls and text messages, I would want that to apply to my iPad as well, but I don't have to go ahead and manually do that. I can set it on my iPhone and it'll automatically take effect here on my iPad. So focus, huge new feature, and I love that it syncs between my different Apple devices that I'm signed into with my same iCloud account. So that's it. Those are my favorite things, the biggest things I think that are changing with iPadOS 15. Let me know though what you guys think. Find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and let me know your favorite new feature in iPadOS 15. And be sure to check out my other videos where I walk you through my favorite new features coming to watchOS 8 and iOS 15 as well.